Well, today on The Boiling Point, we're taking an in-depth look at the water softener. Well, we're in sunny Louisville and it is hot. And we're gonna talk a little bit about water softeners today, actually with my man, Steve Duvall, technical support of the rental division. Last time we talked about the resin inside the water softeners. This time we're actually gonna talk about the water softener and actually how it, how it works a little bit, how it's set up. Uh, Steve, first of all, let's just review, why do we need a water softener? To remove the um, calcium, magnesium, any of the minerals in the water that uh, would form scale or something on the, the boiler tubes. Okay, and with that scale, obviously, when they get on tubes, they get hot, it's It's really, it, the boiler becomes less efficient. Okay. So it can't transfer the heat. Okay. From off the tubes. So we actually use a water softener to do that and to take all that uh, those minerals deposits out of the water. Why don't you first talk about where does the water actually come into the uh, water softener? Uh, uh, it's a million two um, grain. The water comes in here um, through whichever softener is online and then comes out here soft. Okay. Out to the system. Out to the system, goes out here, okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm looking at this water softener and, and we actually have two tanks. Yeah. Why do we need two tanks? Well, the reason for two tanks is when one regenerates, the other one automatically comes online and still gives you soft water. If you had a single tank, then uh, it would have to go on a bypass and feed your system hard water until it regenerates. So that could be an hour and a half, two hours that you're feeding hard water to the system. Okay, so you mentioned a 1.2 million grain water softener. Um, maybe why don't you just tell me what that means real quick. Uh, how, big, how big of a system is that, is that? Well, its output would be around 100,000 gallons of uh, uh, soft water. Okay. Before it has to regenerate. Okay, so something like this would feed a 75,000 pound oh, yeah. an hour boiler, yeah. no problem. No problem. Okay, um, and so uh, as you said, 100,000 gallons of soft water in one tank. Yes. And then it goes to the next tank, and that one's actually regenerating, which we talked about the resin last week. Yes. That's regenerating, mm -hmm. and then just that cycle just continues like that. Right. Okay. Right. All right, so why don't we go into a little bit of the operation and the, and the <clears throat> valving and the controlling. And okay. you know, why don't we start with the, with the control? What, what does it do? Well, that's sort of the brain of the system. It's, uh, it's got two functions. It's uh, uh, an alternator. So when one uh, goes hard off the, uh, it counts gallons. So once it reaches that, it, uh, it uh, alternate or put the other unit online. Okay. And also it's uh, cycle controls in there, which uh, during the regeneration, it controls these valves okay. and what stage they're at. Okay, so the hardness of the water, obviously you put that into the controller? You put, you put the gallons. Okay. And there's a little paddle wheel that, that uh, measures the gallons that are, that's flowing. Okay. And when it reaches that figure, say we put 100,000 in there, and when it reaches that, that's when it would switch to another unit. Okay. Um, you talked a little bit about um, the heads on the on these tanks. Why don't you well, talk the, a little the, bit about that? The smaller tanks or the fiberglass tanks, you know, have a, a, a single head that's got all the, uh, there's a little piston in there and it performs a different uh, back flush, grind draw, all those functions. Uh, the bigger units, all these valves are external to the tank so you can actually see these valves. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it, usually you get over a million grains. Mm -hmm. Then you go to uh, this configuration they call a nest uh, of valves. So. Okay. So the, um, do you use chemical with this? Is that, with you a still like have this? to use boiler chemical. Okay. Uh, not as much. Uh, but you still have to use some boiler chemical. Okay, and let, let me walk over here real quick and you know, we got this big tank here, what is this? That's a brine tank. Okay. So that's where you load your salt to make your brine. Okay, and then that's actually used into yeah. the, each one of the to tanks. To recharge or, or regenerate the beads. Okay, well there you have it. Uh, complicated, but yet somewhat simple that you can go through, but uh, you know, you can rent these water softeners here, here at Ware if you ever needed one. Um, but man, Steve, we appreciate you just telling us a little bit about the, the water softener. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. We appreciate Steve stopping by and talking to us a little bit about the water softener. 
Water is so very critical to a system. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to that YouTube channel. If you like these videos, share them. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.